Nevada, home to 3.1 million people, is probably best known for Las Vegas, its most famous city, also known as Sin City. But it's a bit of a paradox. I mean, they're, they're, they're seen as perhaps uh, a liberal state in some sense because it was the first state that really pushed no-fault divorce. Um, it uh, has uh, gambling in certain counties that allows uh, uh, prostitution. Uh, but it, it, it also has this undercurrent of being very, very conservative in some respects. Nevada reliably voted Republican from the late 1960s until the early 2000s. Since then, the state regularly swings between the two political parties. Nevada's population has more than tripled since 1980. Many recent newcomers are from predominantly liberal California. And what's happened is the Clark County, which is the county where Las Vegas sits, is now 72% of the voting population in this state. So what has happened to Nevada is what was once a rural Mountain West state has become an urban West Coast state. There's Vegas and then there's the rest of Nevada. And um, from my knowledge, Vegas tends to be more um, on the Democrat side, whereas the rest of Nevada is more Republican. But then again, most of the population is in Vegas. Despite the population explosion, Nevada remains heavily working class, with many residents working manual jobs. So things like wages, things like unemployment, things like housing affordability, just inflation in general, so things like fuel prices, all of those things affect people a little bit more here in Nevada than they might in some other states. College students at the University of Nevada at Las Vegas outline their top issues. Some will vote for the first time now that they've reached the voting age of 18. Uh, definitely abortion, definitely the economy, um, what else? Uh, education as well. The state of the economy, probably just uh, the border. I'm kind of broke college kid. I would, I would just like to be able to better afford food. I would like to be able to have a single job that pays enough to help me with all of my, my needs. When they vote in November's general election, Nevadans will also vote on whether to install a right to abortion in the state constitution. The issue overall um, has already proven to be a big driver, a big motivator of turnout in um, prior elections. And I think this one will be no different. Still, Miller says no one should underestimate former President Donald Trump's chances of winning Nevada. I think that Trump is being perceived as uh, a candidate unlikely to win Nevada simply because he hasn't won the last two times. I wouldn't discount the importance of economic issues as driving the decision for voters in this state. Good evening, Nevada! Nevada's critical role as a battleground state is why both presidential nominees, Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris, are spending time here. Because ultimately, what happens in Vegas could determine who will lead America for the next four years. You're fired. Get out of here. You're fired. Dora McQuar, VOA News, Las Vegas.